maybe depression has come and it passes through and then maybe another emotion comes and you may be afraid and you experience fear fear has come for you and uh and then fear can go away and then something else can come anger may come despair may come you know another feeling is going to come and go and then you oh, you're aware of that one too so you're witnessing it but these changing emotions these changing feelings that we're referring to they appear in front of you you're the one who notices these things you're the one who observe these feelings uh. You're the one who can see the changing feelings that are passing through you, by you. Yet, the observer that you are, the witness that you are, your ability of observation, that part does not change. That's the only thing that remains still, it remains intact, it remains not touched. Your feelings can change all the time, but your ability to be aware of them, your ability to observe them does not change it stays permanent and that we can either call the state of presence or your being we can call that the observer you know we can give it different names because that part is really who you are and this other part is what we think we are the constant stream of thoughts that is passing through our minds the constant emotional ups and downs that is going through us is who we think we are but that's not who we are that's a false sense of identification and that false sense of identification creates suffering it's the source of our suffering because the stream of thoughts continuously there's nothing wrong with thinking there's nothing wrong with using our brain to think, to plan things, and using our working mind. You know, don't, I, I don't want anybody to, to um, misunderstand me. Uh, it's, that's what different, differentiates us from the rest of the animal kingdom. Our ability to be able to think and to create with our thoughts, our mind. So that's a beautiful thing. But in the same time, that beautiful thing and, and tool has turned to the source of our suffering. Because of our lack of education in spiritual life is we have become identified with our thought patterns and lost into it 
and we have been lost into our emotional ups and downs and and that we creates con con continuous suffering for us but once we start to recognize this and slowly separate ourselves which requires a period of time of being conscious and paying attention till it just clicks in for you and it becomes a constant thing but until it becomes a constant phenomena in your life it becomes an automatic thing until then you need to consciously put time into it and separate yourself consciously separating yourself from your thoughts and your emotions by stepping back we can call it meditation coming to this place of just pure presence that's within yourself that's who you are and hang out there hang out in that place and make yourself become more familiar with that place and because that place is home and it feels really good and it's your true nature already a very what happens is when you step back and come come to this place it's almost immediately it makes you feel good it makes you feel blissed out almost immediately you recognize it and it brings peace and calmness the moment you disconnect from the world of the thoughts and the emotions and you bring your attention inwards you come back into yourself where the observer is not what is being observed you're disconnecting from the objects you're disconnecting from the stream of thoughts you're disconnecting from identifying with your emotions and you're becoming objective and you come bring your intention back inside to where it sees these things but it's not it almost immediately you sink you sink in and you become quiet and bliss blissed out you can experience it right now let's do it right now simply disconnect from the world of the thoughts from the world of your emotions and just switch your mind bring your thoughts bring your attention not thoughts i mean i, I meant attention bring your attention in to in, inwards